military can be a great option for a lot of people, but it's not for everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about three qualities or character traits that you have to develop in order to be successful in the military. If you're thinking about joining up and you're weak in any of these traits, then your experiences in the military will try to force your development of each of these traits and how well you take to that development can in many ways determine how high and how fast you're going to climb. What's up everybody, I'm Ashley Noel. Thank you for being here. On this channel, we talk about military lifestyles, leadership tips, and tips for living and working abroad. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. It is completely free to you and it does actually help the channel. The first quality you need in order to be successful in the military is discipline. What I don't agree with is people equating discipline simply with one's ability to follow orders. I think that's missing the mark and is probably more suitable for the definition of obedient rather than disciplined. But probably the best definition of discipline that I can think of is actually a quote from Mike Tyson. He said, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but nonetheless doing it like you love it. And I think that's pretty perfect. It's the essence of that ever heard military saying of embrace the suck. The second quality is patience. Things aren't always going to go your way or on your schedule. In fact, they rarely will ever do either. One thing about being in the military is that your life, to a large extent, really is not in your control. Where in the world you're assigned, what job you're doing, how long you're going to be doing that job, your work schedule, your ability to say no to a lot of life impacting things. It's just not up to you. For instance, just with job assignments, you will, without a doubt, have duty assignments where you are doing the job just because it's the job. You won't like the job. Your heart is not in it. You have zero job satisfaction. It is not what you signed up to do, but you are still required to complete that job day in and day out for a term of years. Your ability to still thrive in that sort of environment, for one, goes back to that definition of discipline, but also it requires you to develop a sense of patience and an ability to let things go. So you don't love your job. You still have to do it and you still have to do it well because people are relying on you to do your job well to enable them to do their jobs well also. The third quality to develop is a good poker face. Here's the thing, when I'm frustrated at work or when I'm frustrated with my boss, I don't vent to other people I work with. I'll call my mom or maybe I'll call my dad or maybe I'll call my friend who works at a completely different base and is not friends with any of the people that I work with, but you don't vent to your coworkers about stuff going on at work. Why is that? Your coworkers are not necessarily your friends. There's a fine line there. And this can be a whole separate topic, but just as a safe measure, never say anything in the workplace or to another one of your coworkers that you would have a problem if it got repeated as something that you said. What I mean by that is that if you are talking to your coworker, Jack, do not tell Jack anything that you would have a problem if he went and repeated to your coworker, Jill, because chances are he probably will either by accident or on purpose next week, next month, or half a year from now. You don't know Jack like that. Not really. You don't know what your relationship with Jack will be like in the future. And some people just aren't good people, but it may take you a while to figure that out. Sidebar, super big red flag. Stay away from people in your office who are gossips. If they will talk to you about other people, they will talk about you to other people. Do not trust a gossip. You will take my word for it now or you will learn the hard way. But this is 100% truth, as I was. Bottom line, don't vent about your workspace or your boss to your coworkers. The fact is that you all are going to work together for a couple of years and then you're going to rotate on to new duty assignments. There are only going to be a handful of people who stick with you throughout the years as truly great friends, potentially lifelong friends, but that is not going to be the majority of people that you work with. And I'm not trying to say that you're going to have a negative relationship with the majority of people that you work with. You're probably just going to have a neutral relationship with them, but that's just life, you know, kind of like the folks that you went to high school or college with. Yeah, you may have been cool with the majority of folks in your class, but you only had a handful of really true homies. It's basically the same concept that exists for your career field in the military. 
So those are the three key traits, discipline, patience, and a good poker face. If you like this video, if you learned something new, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It is completely free to you and it does actually help the channel and lets me know that the information that I'm providing is useful. If there is any specific military topic that you would like me to talk about, please also make sure to leave that in the comment box below and I'll answer whatever questions that I can. I thank you for being here. I do appreciate your time and I'll see you.